Hey guys, I wanted to come and share with you how to correctly engage your core. Struggle with that for a long, long time. Like, I didn't know how to do it all through high school and I'm just now finding out in my adulthood. So it is something that's easy to do, but you just have to know how to do it. And so I just wanted to share that with you guys because it makes a huge difference in pretty much every aspect of your life, whether it's working out or just doing certain movements. So how I learned how to engage my core is you breathe in and whenever you're breathing in is your relaxed phase. So when you're breathing in, everything is loose, everything is just free. And then when you exhale and blow out through your mouth, that's when you engage your core. And when you engage your core, you are basically tightening your abdominal area. But when you engage your core the right way, you aren't putting strain on your abs. So this is especially important to me just because I um, have diastasis recti or however you're supposed to say it, DR. And engaging your core to strengthen those um, abdominal muscles where you have your gap is very, very important. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. And if you are having um, problems with your pelvic floor as well, this is a great way to kind of fix that as well because for me, when I engage my core, I also engage my pelvic floor, which is essentially doing a Kegel at the same time. And even the doing this the correct way can make simple workouts that much more intense, especially if you are used to not engaging your core the correct way. Because for me, when I used to engage my core, they say engage your core, I was just like basically sucking in or, you know, something of that nature. I wasn't really feeling anything. So again, whenever you breathe in, so everything is just like loose and free and all that stuff. And when you exhale and blow out, that's when you want to engage your core. Okay, so I'm going to show you what that looks like. So I am going to show you my stomach so you actually see the difference. So before I was just like, engage your core, it was just like suck in, right? So you don't want to suck in. What you want to do is when you take your inhale, you see how my stomach went out? Because I'm basically just like letting everything go, relaxing myself. And then when I get ready to breathe in, you want to tighten it, but do not suck in. So you're really focusing on like pulling your belly button to your back and just making everything tight. And at the same time you're doing this, if you're working on your pelvic floor, just do a Kegel at the same time and hold it for the same amount of time. I can't show you a Kegel, but I can show you the tightening of the abs. So breathe in and out. Okay, so that was a few breaths. And just doing, engaging your core the right way alone can help so much with strengthening and rebuilding and repairing your gap and closing it up. Just doing that, like, that was intense for me just to do that core exercise. And all I did was like three breaths. So I'm going to show you it from the side too. So breathe in. And for me, I like to over exaggerate my in and out just because it makes me focus and make sure I'm engaging my core the right way. So I would suggest you do the same thing. And when you focus more on doing that core the right way, you can focus less on the actual exercise because if you're engaging that core, you are going to be feeling you know, something. You should if you're doing it the correct way. So I hope that video was helpful. I hope me demonstrating it was 
good and it can help you in repairing your diastasis recti and strengthening those muscles and closing that gap i will be doing other videos showing you how i'm closing my gap because i have like a three three and a half um a finger width gap um, for my stomach so i'll be taking you along that journey so stay tuned and i hope this video was helpful and i'll see you guys next time